is Will Spencer with SaveTheCarNow.com and today we're going to talk about driving manual transmissions. A car with a manual transmission will give you the closest connection to the car, will really give you more control and is a lot more fun than pulling a paddle or driving a car in automatic mode. A lot of people may understand this about manual transmissions but don't necessarily have access to a car that has one. So today we're going to talk about a little trick to learning how to drive manual without having to bother somebody about driving their car or risk hurting it. All manual transmission vehicles have three pedals. You have the clutch on the left side, the brake in the middle, and the gas on the right. Additionally, the gear shifts all have very similar layouts. In this example of a Focus RS, you can clearly see the indications of where the gears each are. Now usually, there's a trick to doing reverse. Now in this case, reverse is up and to the left. And if you try to do that, the gears will just grind. So there's a, there's a trick and each car is a little different. In this case, there is a lever you pull up on here, you push it down and up like that, and that's reverse. Okay, so starting off, we're gonna push the clutch in. We're gonna put it in first gear. You're gonna push slightly on the gas, ease off the clutch. The car is gonna start to move forward. You let off the clutch completely. Just push down on the gas pedal till you get to the speed you want. Push in the clutch, pull the gear back to second gear. Engage again. For third, push in the clutch, let off the gas, float up to third, let go, and et cetera, as you go through all the gears. Fourth is the same way. Clutch, and when you push the clutch in, you gotta let off on the gas. Go into fourth. Okay. If you wanna go down a gear, you don't have to rev match. It is better for the car, but do it without rev matching. See, it just jostles it. It's not very good for the car. And you can actually lose control if you are driving aggressively. The better way to do it, here's up to fourth again, with the clutch in, up to fourth, let out the clutch again, ease in the gas, is to go down. So if you're gonna go from, if I'm gonna go from fourth to third, push in the clutch, drive it a little bit, and push it up to third, and then let out. When you come to a stop, you always have to push the clutch in, uh, the gear shift is in first gear, foot is on the clutch, and off the gas. So now ease in, a little bit of gas, letting the clutch out continuously. Now the clutch is completely out, pushing on the gas, letting the clutch pull the second, let out the clutch again, push on the gas. Now pushing the clutch, off the gas, up to third, let out the clutch and we're in third gear third gear accelerate push in the clutch let off the gas pull back to fourth and there you are I'll run through the gears one Acceleration. 
How do you learn how to drive manual without access to a car? We're going to show you. You're looking at it. Racing simulator. I firmly believe, ignore the cat by the way, I firmly believe that the um, simulators have come so far now that you can actually use the simulator in something like this Xbox game, which for example is Forza 7, to be able to learn how to drive manual. The principle remains the same on any manual transmission. And I do believe that the manual transmission in this setup is so accurate that it can actually be used as a training device to learning how to drive a real car. The shifter in this console is pretty easy to use as well. The numbers aren't labeled because each car can be different, but you can see the general layout is the same, very similar as it was in the RS. So it would be first, second, neutral, third, straight back for fourth, fifth is in the upper right, and six is towards you. And that's most cars. Some cars are four speed, some are five. And there are actually a few that are seven speed manual, like the Porsche 911 and the uh, Chevy Corvette. Reverse is back and down. This one you actually push down and to the right, which is similar to some cars as well. I believe the 911 is that way. Okay, for this demonstration, we're going to be driving the Focus RS. We're using Forza 7, and we're using a Logitech G920 setup. Now, we have, of course, our clutch, our brake, and our gas. The only real difference between this and reality is that the clutch pedal, they're mounted from the top, not from the bottom, and the throw is much higher, uh, much longer than this. So, if you were to push down on the clutch, the difference is this clutch only stops right about here after a couple inches. A real clutch is going to be linked from the top and it's going to come down like this. Okay, Brake pedal is usually the same way, of course, hanging from the top. Some cars, like the, like the Alfa Romeo 4C, the gas pedal is linked from the bottom, so that does happen sometimes in reality. So now we're going to drive the car on the game here and I'll show you how similar to reality this game can be. Okay, so here we are in the simulator slash video game. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we have the shifter on our right side. We're gonna push in the clutch. We're gonna put our gear shifter in the first gear. You can see it indicated on the screen there. And you can note that as you push on the gas pedal, you don't have to floor it like you do in a race. They want you to floor it like this and drop the clutch. Wait, they don't really do that. So as you can see, I started to roll backwards, which is just what happens in real life. So it's in first, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start to ease on the gas and I'm gonna ease off the clutch and you will see that happen right here. So I've got about 2000 RPM. Letting the clutch off and that was a nice smooth takeoff. Push in the clutch, pull back. And there we are in second. Push in the clutch, third. Come to a stop, push in the clutch, okay, and we're going to do it again. This is the hardest part about driving manual. Clutch, first, and you can hear the RPMs rise, and I won't say anything so you can hear it as I engage. time okay we're gonna do the first gear clutch is in let off the brake push a little bit on the gas and start to ease the clutch out about halfway see now that I let it out too quickly that's exactly what happens in real life the car will jump so let's try that again in gear, second, third, fourth, now I'm going to brake, so we can go down a gear, you can just do this, but you can see the car jumped, just like it did in real life, so if you really want to go down a gear, you're going to hit the gas, so you can watch me do that, clutch, gas, Okay, and that puts you in second. So we'll go third, 
fourth. Break. Rev into third. Okay, so that was a little bit of a rev match. That's more representative of what you do in real life. All right, now we're gonna break. We go down into third. All right, you see me hit the gas there. Second. I'm not going to take you all the way around the track lap after lap. It's just to sort of give you a general idea. But as you notice, you don't rush it. You don't slam this down, just like in reality. People try to do that in real life. It's called power shifting. It's not very effective. So again, you, you know, I'm in neutral. I'm in first and I'm revving it. Like in a race, you come in here, you do this. Okay, you, you know, but that's, that's not how you drive in real life. Yes, that's how you launch a real car, if you're wondering that. You just you rev it up and then drop the clutch. Okay, but in real life you don't usually do that. Okay, so um, normally you just drive around nice and smooth, up, up shift to third. Down the third again. Clutch, fourth, brake, rev to third. Red line it, fourth gear. Fifth gear. All right, now, one thing you can do if you don't heel toe, which is a lesson for another day, is you can go, see I'm still in fifth? You can go all the way down to second, okay? If you slow down enough, you can skip gears in modern cars. Some older cars you can't. All right, so. Now you should note that all cars are gonna be obviously a little bit different and they're not exactly like this video game setup, but there's zero reason to think that if you don't practice on something like this, that you can't get in a real car and make it go with a manual transmission. So just remember if you use one of these setups, if you want to practice, use manual, try to ease in the clutch and ease out the clutch as you go in and out through your gears, be very smooth. And that's how people are when they race real cars. This Logitech setup is about $269 I think right now on Amazon. Uh, the game itself, this particular example is $60. However, you can go and download a demo and you can still use the steering wheel. So you don't need to have whole entire game. You just have to have either an Xbox or a PC. And while it's not quite as good as a real thing, you also have to remember that every real car is different. The clutches are different, the way that the power is delivered is different, and the take-up points, in other words where the clutch starts to engage, is different on every car. Some cars it's much higher up towards the top of the pedal, and other ones it's in the middle, and some are actually down towards the bottom. So even one car that you drive is only really going to be good for that one car principle still applies to all of them, but they're going to vary. So in essence, this is very similar to that in that it's going to engage at the point where this, this game is in which you can actually adjust, but it's about middle of the throw. And that's the way you should think about in a real car because that's the same way it works. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.
good thing it's not my real car then, isn't it? <laughs> 